Okay, oftentimes you see images of you know bacterial cell, and it's a, it's just like it shows you this is an electron micrograph, or it's a super zoomed up image of a bacterial cell, so we can actually see it, and it'll have some units on it, and then you might have to calculate you know what is the actual size of this thing, or what is the magnification, or what is the actual image size? The image size, you would just measure it uh, across. But anyways, I'm going to teach you how to work between each of these things. But first, you have to understand how to convert between units. And when we're talking about small things like bacteria and viruses even, we get to really small units. So centimeters and, and millimeters aren't going to cut it. Obviously, meters are way too big. So you're going to get into the world of micrometers or micrometers. Uh, depending on how you want to say it, and nanometers, nanometers. So here's a quick tip. I'll show you two ways that I like to convert things. So uh, I memorized this a long time ago, the idea. So this is just a little acronym here. Uh, kings rule humans. Humans slay dragons. Dragons eat dogs. That doesn't make sense, but it doesn't matter. Dragons eat dogs. There's a little star in the middle. Uh, dogs eat cats. Cats eat mice. Mice make a little sound that goes mew, 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 mew. Okay, that's stupid. But mice make a little sound that goes mew, mew, mew. And then so this symbol here is a U with the tail. That's a symbol for mew. Mew is the uh, unit for micro, uh, micrometers. And then mew, mew. I can't, I can't, I can't finish this. N. No, nothing. I got nothing. All right, kings, humans, dragons, dogs, cat, mice, mew, and n. Because mice, I got to get something. Mice. Mice scare elephants, and then the elephants say, no. Okay, totally fast forward this. So what's the point of this? These are actually prefixes for units. And we actually skip a few of these. Kilo, hecta, deca. Desa, centa, milla. This one is micro, so I'm going to put micro, and this one is nano. Nano. The ones that we use all the time are kilometer, centimeter, millimeter, and micro and nano. In the middle here, this is just this is the base unit. In other words, there's no prefix. So if this is meet, if we're talking about meters, then this would just be meter here. So kilometer centimeter millimeter micrometer nanometer this works for mass as well these could be kilograms uh, just grams milligrams micrograms nanograms and uh, i'm going to circle the ones that are significant for us to remember and there's something really nice about all these and the reason why there's a dot dot here a dot dot here is because you have to jump a couple steps so each of these ones that are circled are different by a factor of 1000 and a factor of 1,000 means three decimal places. So the way that I would teach you know, students who are just starting out with something like this, there's two ways. You can either draw this out every time, and it'll help you figure out how to convert really quickly and the direction to move the decimal places. Or you can just memorize uh, kilo, meter, milli, micro, nano. Understand that these things are factors of 1,000 apart, and factors of 1,000 apart are three decimal places. And then remember this this phrase, larger to the left. So let's do just a, a silly one. I don't know. Uh, convert random number, 14.63, let's say micrometers to centimeters. OK, if I have to use this format, here's my question, 14.63 micrometers to centimeters. So what I do is I find out where I'm starting. Here's my diagram. I'm starting from here. I'm going to make a little. Uh, mark and I'm gonna go to centimeters and the centimeters is here so I'm actually going uh, up to travel how many spaces one two three to milli and to centi and it, I just jumped one two three four steps to the left so check it out all I do is I take this decimal plate go one two three four steps to the left so then add some zeros in there so actually my answer is point zero zero one four six three centimeters final thing there okay um if you don't want to draw this thing out all the time then let's say if i had to go from micrometers to centimeters 
Well, micrometer, centimeter is not one of my main circled ones, but I know that there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter. That's easy for, you remember, for me to remember. So I'm going to go from micrometers to millimeters first. So if my original question was like this, 14.63 micrometers, I want to go to centimeters. There's different ways to do this, and I, there's also dimensional analysis as well. I might even show that. 14.63 micrometers to centimeters. If I get this to millimeters first, Millimeters and micrometer, micrometers are off by a factor of 1,000. So because my unit is going larger, I'm going to go larger to left. So I'm going to move it 3 to the left first. 1, 2, 3. And now I know that I have gone from my micrometers to millimeters, micrometers to millimeters. To go from millimeters to centimeters, that's just a factor of 10. So I'm going to move one more time. So depending on how you want to do that, you can end up with the same answer, 0 0.001463 centimeters. Anyways, you have to be able to convert between these units pretty flawlessly. And you can't make a mistake on that as well, too. There's also dimensional analysis. So if I did something like, let's see if I can do this right here, 14.63 uh, micrometers, I need to convert that to centimeters. So I'm going to turn this into a fraction, put it over 1. And I'm going to multiply it by something here to get rid of micrometers. So micrometers, and I keep switching between saying micrometers and micrometers. That's for all the British folk and Americans. We're bringing us all together here. Micrometer down here. And a unit that I want to change it into, well, I know how to go from micrometer into millimeter pretty easily. So I'm going to put millimeter up here. So how many millimeters uh, in one micrometer? Well, it's, it's easy for me to go like this. One millimeter. Two contains, and I've learned, factor of 1,000, 1,000 micrometers. Is that the correct conversion? Yes, it is. When I multiply this, look at this. The micrometers are going to get crossed out. I'm going to make some more space over here. They actually programmed in a crappy eraser. Okay, there we go. My computer's lagging. Okay, now, when I'm done with this, though, let's see if I cancel these out, I'm still going to be end, end up with uh, millimeters. I need to get rid of millimeters. So in order to get rid of millimeters, I'm going to put it in the denominator here. So it's going to cancel out. And I need to convert to centimeters. Well, do I have a conversion for this? Yes. One centimeter contains 10 millimeters. Check that out. So if I do this, let's see. Uh, the micrometer, micrometer should cancel out. The millimeters should cancel out. Out and I should be left with a unit centimeter up at the top. So go across, check it out. 14.63 times 1 times 1, so it's just 14.63 divided by at the bottom 1 times 1,000 is still 1,000. 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. So that's my calculation. All I got to do 14.63 divided by 10,000, and I end up with point, same thing, 0 0.001463 centimeters. There you go. Three different ways to convert between all these units. When you're looking at small diagrams of cells and everything like that, it's all you're going to be measuring in, in length and probably be working in. With your ruler, you'll be measuring in millimeters, uh, but you'll be converting these images. These images are magnifications that are showing you micrometers. Uh, probably not nanometers, but definitely micrometers you need to be able to convert. So remember 1,000 micrometers or micrometers in one millimeter. Okay, this is getting too long, so I'm going to separate this into two videos. So make sure you understand this stuff, and then now let's go do some uh, magnification calculations. Boom.